Hello friends, today we are starting off with a new topic on mathematics uh, and the topic is theory of equations where we will be looking at the roots of any polynomial. So any equation, any equation is actually of a form uh, as given to you here. Okay. Any equation would be of this form. So we have fx equals to f a naught x to the power of n plus a1 x to the power n minus 1 so decreasing power of x and a coefficient attached with it okay so that's a polynomial so this is essentially a polynomial equation of your ai's are you know real numbers and this is called this is called the polynomial Equation of degree n of polynomial equation of degree n. Okay, so this is a polynomial expression, polynomial equation of degree n. Now, the equations that we generally deal with are you know quadratic equation, quadratic, which have a degree 2 cubic which have a degree 3 and also at times we have biquadratic biquadratic which essentially means a degree 4 okay which essentially means a degree 4 so your quadratic would look like it's degree 2 so you will have a naught x to the power 2 plus a1 x plus a2 equals to 0 and the cubic you will have a naught x cubed plus a1 x square plus a2 x plus a3 equals to 0 and for a biquadratic you will have a naught x to the power 4 plus a1 x to the power 3 plus a2 x to the power 2 plus a3 x plus a4 equals to 0. So that's how it will move. Okay. Now a polynomial equation of degree n. If you have a polynomial equation, what about the roots of it? So a polynomial equation of degree n has exactly n roots. If you have n as the degree of the polynomial equation, then you got to have has exactly exactly n roots has exactly n roots. And what do we mean by that? Essentially, what we mean by that is uh, that if if the n roots n roots are say alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, so on and so forth till n. Okay, alpha n, then f x fx equals to fx equals to a naught x minus alpha 1 x minus alpha 2 so on and so forth till x minus alpha and basically what is happening here this means that we can factorize we can factorize uh, this polynomial of n degree and you will have n factors out here. Now root essentially, root essentially means that, you know, you're talking about all the x's. So x equals to alpha will make fx equals to zero. So all the x's that take the function to zero, essentially that are, those are the roots of any equation. So that's what we mean by alpha, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 and so on. Now, what we will be looking at, let's, let's look at the relationship, relation, 
between roots and coefficients. Relationship between roots and coefficients. Okay, now what do we mean by that? What do I mean by that? Now your roots are always related to the coefficients a0, a1, a3. Now in which manner? Essentially, let's just try to prove it. What is the relationship? So let us have alpha 1, alpha 2, so on and so forth, till alpha n. Let these be the roots of the equation a0 x to the power n plus a1 x to the power n minus 1 plus a2 x to the power n minus 2 so on and so forth a n minus 1 x plus a n equals to equals to 0 okay so fx equals to 0 now because we have we know that you know alpha i is r the root of the equation so we can say therefore what we can say e naught x n plus a1 x n minus 1 plus a2 x n minus 2 so on and so forth plus a n that should actually equal to a naught x minus alpha 1 x minus alpha 2, so on and so forth, till x minus alpha n, right? Correct? Now we can just change this format a little bit, okay? In the LHS, let me take, let me take a naught, okay? Let us cancel out a naught. So if I want to cancel out a naught, that means I have to divide the complete LHS with a naught, right? So xn plus a1 by a0 xn minus 1 plus a2 by a0 xn minus 2 so on and so forth plus a n by a0 equals to xn. Now let's just open up these factors. Let's just open up these factors. So x getting multiplied n times. Okay, so these are n essentials. So x gets multiplied with x n times. So xn comes out here. And then what happens? Then you have alpha. Alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3. All these alphas individually, all these alphas individually get will get multiplied to x n x n minus one because it will get multiplied n minus one times. Okay. Basically, if you try to open this up, what will happen? Alpha one is getting multiplied to this x and then all the x's further as well. Similarly, alpha, alpha 2 is getting multiplied to this x and all the other x's in further. So those will be n minus 1. So essentially what you will get, since all these alpha i's are in negative, x to the power n minus 1, then plus, now, alpha 1, alpha 2 will also get multiplied together. Alpha 1 and alpha 2 will get multiplied together. Okay. And then if you combine alpha 1, alpha 2 together, they will get multiplied to all the other x's n minus 2 number of times. Okay. So, what you will get? You will get alpha 1, alpha 2. Now, because you are multiplying alpha 1 as well as alpha 2 here, both are negative. So, you get plus sign. So, all these twice multiplied with alpha 1, okay, alpha 1, alpha n, and that is getting multiplied n minus 2 times. 
and similarly other terms. Now you can combine it similarly all other two, two, two numbers and finally what you will have is that minus 1 to the power n all all the alphas are getting multiplied together individually and that will depend on n the sign will depend on n because these are negative so all there will be one term in which all these alphas are getting multiplied to each other okay okay so what do we have here x to the power n minus summation alpha 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus summation alpha 1 alpha 2 x to the power n minus 2 minus summation x alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 now 3 combined together x n minus 3 okay and so on and so forth plus minus 1 to the power n alpha 1 alpha 2 so on till alpha n okay now we have an LHS, we have an RHS. Now what is happening? What is happening is that let us compare, let us compare the coefficients. So this is my RHS finally. Okay, this is my RHS finally. And what did I have as my LHS? My LHS was this. Okay, A1 by A0 and so on and so forth. Now let us compare coefficients. Compare, comparing coefficients. Okay, comparing coefficients what you have. Okay, summation alpha 1. Summation alpha 1 will equal to minus a1 by a0 summation alpha 1 will equal to minus of a1 by a0 similarly summation alpha 1 alpha 2 will equal to a2 by a0 and similarly summation alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 okay will equal to minus a3 by a0 minus a3 by a0 and similarly you know your alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 the product till n will equal to minus 1 to the power n a n by a0 okay a n by a0 so this is the relationship between the you know roots and the coefficients now let let me translate this to you for quadratic okay so for quadratic roots what happens for a quadratic equation what happens this relationship turns into okay so what we have summation alpha summation of alpha one a summation of alpha i. So we have two roots. Quadratic is basically a naught x square plus a one x plus a two equals to zero. Okay. So we have summation alpha equals to a minus a one by a naught. Right. So now I have two roots, alpha 1, alpha 2. So that means alpha 1 plus alpha 2 equals to minus a1 by a0. In fact, you know, what we call it is, say, alpha beta. We generally, you know, they know when we just have two roots, we denote it as alpha beta. So alpha plus beta equals to a minus a1 by a0. And similarly, your Product alpha beta equals to a2 by a2 by a naught since n is even. Since n is even. Okay. 
So you get this relationship for quadratic. What happens for cubic? For cubic, this relationship will turn into you have now you have a naught x cubed plus a one x square plus a two x plus a three equals to zero. Okay. Now let us have three roots here. So we will have three roots, alpha, beta, gamma. Let us call them alpha, beta, gamma. So what we know is that the sum equals to minus a1 by a0, which means alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to minus a1 by a0. Then you also have summation alpha 1, alpha 2, which essentially means the product of, summation of the product of two roots. So we have three roots here. How many combinations can I have? I can have alpha beta, I can have beta gamma, I can have gamma alpha. So that means alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma equals to a2 by a0. And then finally I have alpha beta gamma which should equal to minus 1 to the power 3 a3 by a0. So this becomes minus a3 by a0 because this time I have a power which is odd. So that's how you actually get the relationship between any you know, any root of the equation and the coefficients.